why is a volatile keyword used in Java? Uh, volatile keyword is normally used uh, in Java to make the classes threat safe. Uh, what do we mean by threat safe? Mm, threat safe means that let's say there is a variable uh, v1, it can be a data type or an object and it is being accessed by thread 1, thread 2 and thread 3. So if one of the thread is writing to this uh, variable or object, uh, we have to make sure that the thread 2 and thread 3 doesn't read the value at that time or write whatever, you know, they don't, they can't, these two threads can't or can't modify, you know, the data while this is modifying or you can say that these two threads can't read the data while thread one is modifying it. So it's kind of, you know, you uh, kind of lock the variable by using this uh, volatile uh, keyword. The variable or object, of course, can also be used with an object, but you can't use it with classes or functions, etc. You can only use it with objects or primitive data types, you know, the data types or objects. So you kind of lock the object. If one of the thread is using it, you kind of lock it so that the other threads can't, cannot read or modify at the same time, you know. Uh, it is done by not saving the, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, the data in the cache memory. Uh, it's It remains stored in the main memory and it's uh, locked when one thread is accessing it. Uh, it's an alternative to synchronization. We also know this synchronization keyword. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, if a thread writes a value in the variable, the other thread that will read after the write process of the first thread is complete. So if T1 wants to write in the V1, D2 and thread 3 will only read after this write operation is finished, you know. So one case. And this is one example, you know. Without volatile keyword, each of the reader threads can read different values. For example, T2 can maybe read a value of V1 before T1 wrote it and T3 can read a value of V1 after T1 wrote it, you know. So there will be inconsistencies uh, in the in the program and then there will be inconsistencies, of course, in our end output or end result that we want to get. So this is uh, a theory of uh, and an example of uh, using uh, volatile keywords on on variables that is data types or uh, or objects